coffee time. It's a beautiful morning here, camped on a big gravel bar. I'll give you a little tour around. So here's my morning coffee setup and all my gear. 20 foot boat. We got a couple of boats over there. Got a nice mountain in the distance. And at the downstream end of our little area, we've got a guy making a fire and making morning coffee. Loading up. Got a big 20 footer all loaded. And we had somebody really slice their finger last night. So they're gonna be riding in the bow of my boat and resting it so not to exacerbate the bleeding. But it's a beautiful day. Big tailwind, bluebird sky. Should be a great run. You see in the distance there, near a little generator we're at a remote campsite in the north main woods and we had somebody on our trip slice her thumb really badly so we just pulled in here and asked these nice people to give them a ride back to the paved road probably like 15 miles away and they didn't hesitate they just said yeah definitely so that we can get her to the emergency room and have them take a look at that with the the lead medical person on the trip is immensely skilled and experienced and he said yeah I really want to get her to the hospital so we're just doing that but it's so nice that the sort of the the way of the woods the way of behaving when you're in the woods when you're remote you just help other people like if it inconveniences you you still help and the guy we pulled up to his campsite and he had plans for the day but he said yes we're deaf we're going right now hesitation free pretty awesome so now we lost our tandem boats we're all in solos and we got a couple of days left to go so we'll rendezvous with them at the end of the trip uh, thankfully uh, Rick who was taking her out he is a sad communicator I've got one Oz has one so we'll be in touch and we'll get the prognosis uh, on how she's doing here pretty quick so we just pulled forward to the next gravel bar in order to shift gear around and I'll show you that because it's kind of a muddy take out there and uh, yeah it sucks it sucks when people get hurt and that's you know the more remote you are the more of a challenge it is to get somebody out probably the more safety should be at the forefront of your thought process. Safety in boats, safety with fire, safety with axes, safety with knives, safety with saws, just safety. So not the best outcome that we wanted, certainly not something we desired to have happen, uh, but hopefully she gets out of this with just uh, a small scar and a real big story. Just had a beautiful lunch stop here. Check out our awesome gravel bar. I think this guy in the foreground, he's dead. The guy over there died too. And we were working him a little too hard. We're on our last eight miles and we're just about out of water. End of May, today's Memorial Day. It hasn't really rained in a month. So no way we're getting through here without a pole and probably no way we're getting through without walking a little bit.
challenging conditions. We're earning our miles today. So far today we made three miles in two hours, which we're not breaking any speed records, that's for sure. But I've only had to get out and walk about three times just to get over a little gravel bar. So it's not too, too bad. Big storm coming in this afternoon, this evening. So we're trying to beat it. Get back to town, take out with dry gear. Go back to the field school and get set to do our testing, practical exams for this course. But everybody's performing really well. We've got a good medical prognosis on our person that we had to evacuate because she sliced her thumb real bad. Uh, and surprisingly, after a month, we're all still friends, still getting along and still smiling. That can be seen maybe as a miracle. So just slow going today. Really got to pick our way through really relying on the pole the water here maybe it's eight inches deep in the deep spots and then it'll get significantly shallower so there's a reason why in this part of the world people guides specifically tended towards big boats and canoe poles because if you're out on these rivers for any length of time you're going to run into conditions like this low low water So the bigger boat helped me to draw less water, float higher on the water, and there's nowhere near enough water to control the boat with a paddle right now, so the pole allows me to push off on the bottom, and we can still go through. Like that section there, three to four inches deep. And if you look at these guys behind me, they're the same crew that a couple of weeks ago were barely able to stand up on the pond. Now they're running rapids, snubbing through super shallow water. It's just flat out awesome to see. Watching them get better, watching their confidence grow. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. It's very rewarding. Just about at the end of our trip, super low water. Been pulling for 20 something miles, not just today, but overall. And shoulders are starting to scream and growl. Thank you for coming along with us. we never get any footage when it's raining like this usually I put the cameras away these things are supposed to be waterproof so we'll see